Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel and in my last video we were discussing uh, numericals on addressing mode and instruction format and in this video also we will continue the same, right? So here we will solve one numerical the way we did in the last video. See this is the problem given to us. The problem says a two word instruction load means of code part is load is stored at location 1000. And the address field at location 1001, right? That means the instruction consists of two words located from 1000 to 1001. The address field has the value 2000, right? And the value stored at 2000 is 5000, right? And some more memory locations values are given to us, right? Something like this, this and this are storing this and this. So these are there. Index register has the value 200. These values are given. Already we have seen numericals of this type so we can understand. So whatever uh, values are given, I have drawn the diagram for that, right? So see here, the last one is what? 5000. 5000 contains 6500. And my instruction is at 1000 storing the opcode part. And at 1001, we have the address field whose value is 2000. The rest of the things we can see. Now let's start. So the question is, Evaluate the effective address and operand. Means I need to tell both. What is the operand? That means the content of the effective address. And another one is effective address. If the addressing mode, first one is memory indirect. So once again, I will repeat. Address field contains uh, the address of the EA in case of indirect mode. Contains the EA in case of direct mode contains the offset in case of index and relative mode and contains the data in case of immediate mode. So this part already we know or only simply we keep on applying it. So the first one is memory indirect addressing mode. So where at all I'll get some data about my operand in the address field. This address field is not representing the EA. It is representing address of the EA. Indirect mode says data is in memory and uh, the instruction contains one address at that address i will get the address of my operand so to access the operand i need to refer the memory twice this address is part of instruction so no need that will be there as part of instruction instruction is already fast so this 2000 will be with us at 2000 we'll be getting some address at this address we will get our data. This is the concept of indirect mode. Instruction contains address of the EA. And EA is what? Address of the operand. Right? So, now let's, let's start. Memory indirect addressing mode. So, mm, it is saying EA. EA will be what? Square bracket value of the address field. I have not written directly value of the address field. Rather, square bracket. That means content of the memory location whose value is there in address field. So value is, address field value is 2000. And content of 2000 is 5000. So 5000 is the address of my operand. Address of operand is called as what? Effective address. So my effective address is 5000. And where will I get the operand? Operand will be there at address represented by effective address. So operand is content of 5000, which is nothing but 6500 so operand is this one done then the next one we'll do quickly because we have seen so many before examples of this type so relative addressing mode relative addressing mode how can i find the effective address updated value of pc see my instruction is located at 1000 and 1001 so what will be the address of next instruction already it is given my instruction is two word instruction so next instruction will be located at 1002. So this is the updated value of PC. Means address of the next instruction, right? So by the time we bring the load instruction from memory, by that time we will be already incrementing the PC. So PC's value is 1002. With that, we need to add the offset. Where at all I'll get the offset? I'll get the offset in the address field of the instruction. So, now the relative addressing mode C, updated value of PC plus 
offset. What is offset? Value of the address field. So it is coming up as what? 3002. And it is already given at 3002. We are having 4000, right? Basically, actually at 3002, we will get our target instruction. But as it is given that the content of 3002 is 4000, so answer is 4000. Done. Next is index addressing mode. In case of index addressing mode, we need to look for index register. That is content is 200. With that, we need to add the offset. Very simple. So index register content, square bracket means content of that register plus offset. That is address value of the address field. That is 200 plus 2000, that is 2200. And what is operand? Operand is at that address. So operand will be 3500. So this is the complete answer. Hope this one is clear. Very simple, indirect mode, then is relative mode, index mode. We have seen before numericals of this type. So kind of now easier for us. Next one. See this one, exactly kind of similar to my previous example. An instruction is kept in memory at an address 300 and memory address 301 occupies the address field of the instruction, right? That is given already, right? The opcode is used to add. So it is add instruction. This time it is not load, add. The content of accumulator with an operand, operand, right? So for that operand, we need to find the EA. The content of accumulator initially given as 100, right? And the content of register R5 is 400. It is already given. Now we need to find out the value of accumulator and the effective address. Please understand, after doing the add operation, the content of accumulator is going to be modified, right? And here when we will do, okay, I'll explain it with the example. So the first one is immediate mode. We need to find the operand and the everything we need to do so immediate mode immediate mode says where is your operand in as part of the instruction right so at address 301 our address field is there that is containing the value 500 so that indicates the immediate value right so see ea will be null because specifically we are not taking the address field so as a whole my operand is in the instruction so here we, we will write as null because operand is part of the instruction. Then accumulator content will be what? Accumulator plus immediate operand. Immediate operand is value of the address field. So it is 100 plus 500, that will be 600. Previously accumulator is holding 100 and our operand is what? 500, immediate address in mode. So it is 600. Hope this one is clear. Next, next is direct addressing mode. Okay, first I'll explain direct addressing mode. So in case of direct addressing mode, address field is the EA. Done. And at 500, we are getting 600. So with this 600, we need to add accumulator. And please understand while doing the numerical, we will be treating each of the addressing mode as independent. That means my initial value of accumulator will be taken as 100, not as a result of my previous addressing mode. Right? So we will not be considering accumulator as 600 while doing direct addressing mode. Rather, we will take the initial value that is 100, right? So see here, direct mode, EA is value of the address field that is 500. At address 500, we will get data which is 600. Accumulator content is taken as 100. So result is 700. Simple, right? Then the next one is register direct. In generally, we say register mode. In case of register mode, see, next one is register mode. In case of register mode, where is your data? Data is in a register. So where is the data? In a register. So register name is the effective address. So general purpose register R5 is mentioned. So that will indicate EA. And what is the operand? 400. With that, we need to add accumulators 100, right? So it will be register direct addressing mode, EA is the name of the register, not square bracket. Square bracket one is register indirect. So name of the register is sufficient to represent the EA. Then the, here it is R5. And what is the accumulator content? Previous content plus the content of register. So it will be 500. Done. 
then we have left with indirect and register indirect we'll do them quickly same numerical i have again taken it out taken up here so indirect addressing mode indirect addressing mode this 500 is the address of ea so at 500 i'm going to get what 600 so 600 is is your effective address at address 600 you are going to get the data 600 is this one so at 600 we are going to get 800 800 is my operand and 600 is nothing but ea so value of the see square bracket value of the address field square bracket means content of this location what is that 600 so 600 is the address of the operand so at that address we are going to get see at address 500 we are going to get 600 and what is the operand operand is from memory location whose address is in ea address represented by ea so it is 800 because content of 600 is 800 that is my operand that will be added with accumulator so result will be 900 now we will do the last one register indirect so see register indirect is quite simple register indirect register contains the effective address right so square bracket name of the register will be the effective address that is 400 and at 400 what you are going to get 700 that is your operand so see square bracket name of register here it is r5 then the value is 400 that is your effective address so accumulator will be memory location es content that is 400 content for at 400 we are having 700 so 700 is added with accumulator and it is coming up to be 800 so this one is clear this numerical was quite simple it was just kind of repetition with our previous examples right so in this video i'll be discussing up to here and in my next video i'm going to solve two gate problems those are also very simple those are also based on the concept whatever we have discussed so far so till then thank you and if you are getting from my videos then please like my videos and share uh, and uh, share my channel thank you